Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 107 of Swimsuit by James Patterson and Maxine P. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. I drop the newspaper to the floor and follow the threesome with my eyes. The revolving door dispensed them one at a time into the street. I headed for the main door thinking I could see where Henry was going by some time to come up with a plan. But before I reached the revolving door, a clump of tourists surged in front of me, staggering and giggling and bunching up inside the blades of the door as I stood by waiting to scream, you assholes, get out of my way. By the time I got outside, Henry and the two other men, the two women who were far ahead of me walking along the arcade that lined the west side of the street. They were now heading down the rue de Castange and toward the rue de Revolle. I had just caught a glimpse of them turning left when I reached the corner. Then I saw the two pretty women standing with their heads together in front of a designer shoe store, and I saw Henry's white blonde hair far up ahead. As I tried to keep him in sight, he disappeared down into the Torres Metro station. And at the end of the street, I ran across the stream of traffic, ran down the stairs to the platform, but the station is one of the metro's busiest, and I couldn't see Henry. I tried to look everywhere at once, my eyes piercing the clots of travelers weaving through the station, and there he was at the far end of the platform. Suddenly, he turned toward me, and I froze. For one internal minute, I felt completely vulnerable, as if I'd been illuminated with a spotlight on the back on a black stage. He had to see me. I was in his direct line of sight, but he didn't react, and I continued to stare at him while my feet behaved as though they were glued to the cement. Then his image seemed to shift and clarify. Now that I was looking at him straight on, I saw the length of his nose, the height of his forehead, his receding chin. Was I crazy? Was I this crazy? I'd been so sure, but I was just as sure now that I'd gotten it all wrong, that I was a dumbass, a total jerk, a failure, as a sleuth. The man I had just followed from the Ritz, he wasn't Henry at all. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.